Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to write and simplify expressions that have to do with length or perimeter, which perimeter, of course, has to do with length. The first one I have here is a length of y units and another of y units and a third length of y units. We're going to write an expression for the total length, which of course would be y plus y plus y, right? We add those three lengths. But now there is a simpler way to write this expression because this is now repeated addition. Just like imagine if here was 81 plus 81 plus 81. There's a quicker way, and that is multiplication. Multiplication is repeated addition. So this is 3 times y. And I don't have to write a multiplication sign here between a number and a letter. How about this one? First we will write an expression for the total length. a and a and b. We need to add those. So it is a plus a plus b. But now we can simplify it a little bit. Because a plus a Again, you can use multiplication. You're adding the same number. So a plus a is the same as 2 times a. And then we have the plus b. Simplify. Here's an expression, 2x plus 3x. You can probably guess what it will be when we simplify it. It's going to be 5x. But let me show it to you also. If I draw these as lengths, now 2x, it's a multiplication here, 2 times x, but that is also an addition of x plus x. So this 2x is indeed a length of x and another length of x. 3x would be x plus x plus x, right? And now, in total, we indeed have x plus x plus x plus x plus x or 5 times x. 7x minus 4x. Again, it's pretty easy to guess that when you simplify this, you get 3x, or you subtract, get 3x. If you look at these lengths, let me continue here. This was 5x. Let's make it 7x long. 6 and 7x long. And now I take away 4x. I take away x plus x plus x plus x. This much here would be 4x. And if you take those away, then what you have left here is 3x. How about this one? 3x plus 2y. Simplify. I already drew it here as lengths. 3x means x plus x plus x. And then y plus y. Length of y units, length of y units. Now, you cannot actually simplify this any further. It already is in its simplest, shortest form. How about the last one? 6y plus 3x minus 2y. Again, if you think of lengths, there's lengths of y long and 6 of them, lengths of x long and 3 of them. And then you take away lengths of y, 2 of them. So you can do the subtraction here, 6y minus 2y. You can do that. That leaves you 4y. This will not change anywhere. So we still have 3x, and then from this we have left 4y. Over here, we're going to simplify again. First of all, let's practice leaving out unnecessary multiplication signs. In algebra, we use the raised dot for multiplication, but we do not use it between letters or between a number and a letter. Here's a number and a letter, so we do not use it. It would be 9s. Is a letter and a letter, T times W. But no, we would not use it there either. How about 2 times 4 times X? Now we're here, you cannot, I cannot just erase this dot here because it would make it 24. So I do need to leave the multiplication sign between two numbers. But here, no, it would, would not be used. However, this would normally be simplified because we can multiply 2 times 4, it equals 8. So then it becomes 8 times x, or 8x. 
a times 5 times 3. We can simplify it. It is customary to write the numbers in front of the letters, okay, and not this way. So I would write it as 5 times 3 times a. But also, I can simplify in the fact that I can multiply 5 times 3. That's 15. So that's a times 15. But it is customary to write it as 15 times a. And no multiplication sign here. b times a minus a. Another customary thing is to write variables or letters in alphabetical order. Instead of b times a, write it as a times b. And we don't need the multiplication sign there. So it becomes a times b, just a b minus a. It cannot be simplified any further. I want to also mention something else now, and that is, what is a term in algebra? This here is one term in this whole expression, and this here is another term, okay? So this expression has two terms and they are separated by subtraction. A term in algebra is any kind of expression where you only have multiplications and divisions and variables and numbers but you do not have addition or subtraction. Okay, so this is one term, this is another. Let's do the same here. a times 5 plus b times 2 times 3. Now here we see again two terms that are separated by addition. This here is a term because it only has multiplication and numbers and letters. And this also is a term. And it would be customary to write this as 5a, right? Number before the letter. And then over here, we would multiply 2 times 3 equals 6 and write that in front of the b. So that is the final simplified expression. Lastly, we're going to write and simplify the expression for the perimeter of these figures. Perimeter, you remember, you go all the way around and add the side lengths, okay? Going all the way around, here would be a side length of C and C2, because this is a square. So now we add, we get perimeter equals C plus C plus C plus C. But there is a simpler way to write this, right? Repeated addition, you can write it simpler using multiplication, 4 times C. But we do not write the multiplication sign. Now over here, a rectangle, I go all the way around, so I get 7a, I add all these, 7a plus 3a, and then this way is another 7a, and then one more 3a. Okay, over here we have four terms, but they are similar terms, because they have the same variable part here, just a, 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 a. And just like we did with those lengths, you can just add the plain numbers here. I often compare this situation to apples. It's like seven apples plus three apples plus seven apples plus three apples, a total of 20 apples, right? So the total is 20a. And the last one is a pentagon, but it's not a regular pentagon because some of its, uh, some of its side lengths are different, okay? But we just go all the way around and add Add 2x and 2x and 2x and y and y. And now we can simplify. Can you see what we can simplify? We can take the 2x, 2x, 2x. This is kind of a situation of apples and oranges. There's two, or two apples, two apples, two apples, and then an orange and an orange. So we can add all those apples and get six apples, six x. Then we can also add the orange and orange to get two oranges, or two y. And now we have two terms in our expression, this term and this term. But they are not similar. We cannot anymore add them together. We cannot anymore simplify. It is all done as fast as simplification. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.